Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion, where this week or this episode, we again are going to be talking about the box office results for the past weekend. It is Monday, so we're not going to do the um, the estimates. We're going to do the actuals. Now, with this past weekend's release, of course, we had Deadpool 2. Um, I have seen the film. I enjoyed it for the most part. If you would like my opinion on it, my full review, please subscribe to my channel and go check it out because that is uploaded on the channel. But the original Deadpool came through uh, in two, was it February 2016 with a, um, a uh, breaking records for the biggest R-rated opening of all time at $132 million, $132,434,639. But unfortunately, Deadpool 2 did not come through as strong. It had a record breaking um, Friday with, I believe, 58 million and 19 million on Thursday. Um, so that's good. But it, it just could not hold that steam. Um, and it only came, I don't want to say only, it came in at one, uh, $125,507,153. million, $507,153. And so I would say that, okay, that's pretty easy. You know, you can tell because the film just was not received as well, um, as the first film, but it, it got an A cinema score. So, uh, I mean, that's fine. Uh, I mean, that's an A, it's not an A minus, it's not an A plus either, but you know, an A, um, uh, you know, is is very is you know very good. Uh, the first one it was like fifty three percent were twenty five and older. Where Deadpool two was sixty two percent was twenty five and older. And uh, like I was saying, um, yeah, it did. Deadpool two did deliver a record opening R rated film, bringing in a pair of R rated records with eighteen point six million from Thursday and fifty three million dollars, excuse me, from the opening day. So um, I enjoyed the film. Uh, I'm not gonna go into you know my likes and dislikes right here you can go check out my review i will be doing a spoiler a review um i don't it will be out this week i don't know exactly when but i just wasn't too excited about seeing it again this past weekend so that may just goes to show how i felt about the film entirely but um that's deadpool right there actually uh, let me look at something that's for Deadpool too. You know I like my, uh, you know I like my showdowns. And if you just have Deadpool versus Deadpool, the budget for the first one was fifty-eight million dollars. That's extremely cheap, uh, making a budget worldwide of seven hundred and eighty-three million dollars. And let me pull out my calculator real quick. Where is it at? Okay, so I just want to see how many times it made the budget. So seven hundred and eighty-three million divided into. 58 million so it made 13 and a half times the budget that's what's up you know so 58 million dollar budget for Deadpool the uh, production budget for part 2 Deadpool 2 was nearly double of that 110 million dollars so uh, we're just gonna see how that goes uh, what's also funny is right now with Deadpool 2 um, worldwide is 300 million uh, 308, 300 million, 386,357 dollars. That's great. And I, I just said that the Deadpool, the first one was, um, 700 million dollars. It didn't even open in China for the original film until like a month ago. So I don't know when it's going to be released in China for Deadpool 2. It may take another week, another month, another year. Um, that is interesting. You know, I, I would say that China is very strict on their releases. Um, in which they are, but at the same time, I don't know the culture and the reasoning behind it. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's for the benefit, you know, but I don't know. Um, but that's what we have right there for Deadpool 2. If you just want to look at the day by day, of course, um, Friday, Deadpool 2 won with 53 million versus Deadpool 1 is 47 million on, uh, on Friday, 47 million on Friday, which does include the Thursday night previews. Um, Saturday, Deadpool one one at forty two million. With Deadpool two was forty million, and then um, Sunday kicked his butt forty two million versus Deadpool two thirty one million on Sunday. So I'm thinking it's that word of mouth because every critic and even just some of my friends have hit me up on Facebook or whatever. They've all kind of suggested they like the film, um, but they think that the first one um, is uh, more superior. 
Um, but let's not just give all the attention to Deadpool. Let's go into um, the rest of the box office week. Um, coming in at number two, of course, this was a given with Avengers Infinity War at twenty nine million dollars. Twenty nine million four hundred and fifty two thousand nine hundred and three dollars. That was a fifty two percent drop. Uh, right now it is in 4,002 theaters. It was at 4,474. Of course, I'm going to come back and touch on Avengers Infinity War in a moment. Coming in at number three is Book Club at 13 million. Uh, it's his first week. I haven't seen the film. Life of the Party is coming in at number four um, with $7.6 million. This is his second week. It had a 57% drop and right now is in 3,600 theaters. I have not seen Life of the Party yet. I do plan on seeing that this week as well. Uh, I plan on seeing, uh, I might see this, this Monday. There's a screening in Dallas tonight for Star Wars, but I wasn't able to make it. There's another one tomorrow night. I'm going to try to go to that one. And then I'm going to see Life of the Party probably Wednesday. And I'm going to try to see Avengers Infinity War in IMAX 3D before it is out of... Uh, out of theaters, you know, for that particular venue, but uh, I, I, I like uh, I almost forgot her name. What is her name? Uh, Melissa McCarthy. I like her. I'm a fan of hers. Um, but right now, in the second week, she's her film is at thirty six million dollars worldwide. Um, I don't know what the production budget is. Man, let's see what. Let me see if I can find that real quick for Life of the Party. And um, the director for that was Ben Falcone. Let's see, Life of the Party. Give me one moment, guys. Sometimes I, I, when I hit record, I have an idea of everything that I want to talk about. But then when I talk and I want to talk about more. So right now, the, the production budget for us, that was $30 million. So, you know, my rule of three, I hope it gets to 90. But we're just going to have to see. And, uh, you know, subscribe because I, I may have a review up on my channel. Breaking In is making money, though, in its second week. Uh it brought in another $6.8 million with a 61% drop. So breaking in the life of the party for Mother's Day weekend last week, we're neck and neck both bringing in $17 million. But the reason why I said this is making money because the budget for this was much cheaper. It was only $6 million. And worldwide, you know, right now, worldwide, it's at $30 million. So it's so already made its money back. Uh, you know, 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 6 36. Uh, so yeah, get to 36 and it would have made six times its budget. So that's what's up. Gabrielle Union. Um, I really did enjoy that film. Uh, it was playing in Jane. It was playing Jane, but I did enjoy it. But that comes in at number five. Coming in at number six is Show Dogs with another $6 million, a film I don't care about. Uh, number seven is Overboard, bringing in another $4.6 million. A Quiet Place brought in almost another $4 million in its seventh week, had only a 38% drop. Uh, right now, 2,300 theaters. Quad Place's budget was $17 million, but right now it is at $296 million worldwide. It is going to reach $300 million worldwide. That's so freaking fantastic. I want to give a shout out to John Krasinski and Emily Blunt and, you know, Michael Bay, the producers and all that, because it was a great film. It's making money. And so, you know, the studio, Paramount, you know, they should be dancing and singing and popping bottles or whatever they do over there. Rampage, sorry about that, hitting the mic. Rampage is another film that uh, is piquing my interest. Um, it is in its sixth week right now, sixth week right now open two weeks before Avengers Infinity War. It brought in another one point one and a half million dollars. It is right now in four, uh, 14, a little over 1,400 theaters, 54% drop, $1.6 million for this past weekend. So the budget for that film we talked about was $120 million. So it needed to make 360 for my whole rule of three. And it is over that. It is at it has passed the well, it did this uh last week, I think, too. Uh, but it has passed the four hundred million dollar mark worldwide. Oh, excuse me, guys, I'm sorry. Coming in at four hundred and seven million dollars worldwide. So that's not really, really good, and it's not bad either. Unless they spent like a stupid amount of money on the budget, then um, you know, they're doing a pretty good job there. Um, so let, let's just play with some numbers real quick. Okay. So we're going to say $407 million, right? Let's just say the theater is, the, I always say a third, but let's just go up to 35%. So times 35, oh, I didn't hit the right button. Times 35%. So 142 million, we're going to even round up a hundred and so out of the $407 million, hundred and forty two million is going to go over a hundred. No, we rounded up one hundred and forty three million is going to go to the theater. So four hundred and seven million 
minus $143 million, right? So we got $264 million left over. Minus uh, the budget, $120 million. So $144 million left over. Let's just pretend that the marketing budget was $100 million. Subtract another $100 million. That's a $44 million profit. Okay, so given that is only if the the marketing for this film was a hundred million dollars i hope not but i'm i'm shooting higher so you have a 120 million dollar production budget or if you add the marketing 220 million dollars you profit 44 million dollars is that worth it i don't know you know i mean that's why i say a respectable profit um they didn't lose money unless they just spent a stupid amount of money on marketing um, you know, this film has made money. It, it, it is profitable. You know, I'm not a millionaire, so I cannot say that if I have a two hundred and twenty million dollar investment and I only only and I only profit forty four million dollars. Is that worth it? Or not? I, I don't know. That may be a bigger deal to millionaires. Who, who knows? Uh, you know, but they made more than a dollar. But I seriously doubt that the the marketing budget for this film was um, was a. Uh, a hundred million dollars is probably only 50 million or something like that. You know, it, it just depends. You know, there's, I don't really know the formula for that. If you guys know, please let me know. Cause this could have profited a hundred million dollars. But, um, I mean, this is enough to warrant a sequel. They don't need to spend that much more money. If they spent like 150 million on, um, you know, on the sequel, you know, they, they, they need to know that the film is actually better you know, then the first one, the critics and fans need to come out that opening weekend, like Rampage 2 is great and it is better than the first one. You know, it can't be the same or it definitely can't be worse. Uh, but I want to see a Rampage, a sequel. And that's why I pay attention to that. Uh, I feel pretty, uh, man, hold up, uh, with Amy Schumer. Budget was 32 million right now. It's at 46 million. You know, that's not that's not looking too hot for Amy Schumer right now. It, it hasn't been released overseas yet. But let me see. That's coming in at number 10. I feel pretty. Let's see if it's being released or if at all. You know, because overseas they have their own comedians and people and things like that. So it says it's, it says it's re, it, it was released in a number of territories on April 19th and the first weekend of May. So I don't know why I'm not seeing any numbers. Also, it's going to open in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven territories in June. But, you know, I feel pretty. I, I enjoyed the film. Uh, subscribe to my channel. There's a review up on my channel if you do want to go see that. Coming in at number 11 is RBG. $1.2 million. Coming in at number 12 is uh, Super Troop is another $1.2 million. And coming in at number uh, 13 is my baby, Black Panther. It had a 58% drop right now. It is still only in 935 theaters. I mean, it was released on uh, DVD, digital, Blu-ray, and 4K. Got my copy right there, baby. Yes, yes, in 4K. And I need y'all's help with this, too. Uh, I have a question to ask y'all in just a second. But for Black Panther coming in at number uh, 13 in this 14th week, it brought in another $860,000. Unfortunately, I do not think that it is going to reach the seven hundred million dollar mark. Uh, it is is like it needs another two million dollars, like two point two, less than two point two million. Let's just get exact real quick. Six ninety seven. I can't hit the right button. Six ninety seven eight two 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 seven minus seven hundred million. I'm I'm doing it backwards, but y'all get my point. Yeah, two point one million dollars. I don't think it's going to make another 2.1 million um you know it's making it didn't even make a million this past weekend i mean maybe if it's in theaters another month maybe i don't know i wanted to right now it is a uh, 697 million domestically 646 uh foreign um uh, also what's up with the saudi arabia because you know this is the first time in this country they have movies in like 30 35 years i don't i don't, I don't haven't seen any uh, news on that, but black worldwide right now, Black Panthers are one billion three hundred and forty three million eight hundred fifty nine thousand two hundred and twenty six dollars. So um, that is that for Black Panther. Real quick on Black. Oh, also just real quick, I just have these here. I also got that Batman Ninja. It don't got nothing to do with box office, but I just had to show you that. 
Uh, also, I got my Dunkirk in 4K. I didn't want to pay $30 for this when it first came out because I didn't love the film that much. Yeah, I bought it for 20 bucks, so I saved some money, 10 bucks. Uh, but like 80, 85% of the film was shot with our mass cameras. And so I have a question about that. I saw this in IMAX and I saw this in IMAX. To my knowledge, both were shot with IMAX cameras. When I saw Dunkirk, um, the film, the, the portion of the film that was shot with IMAX cameras, it expanded. You know, the screen expanded. We got that extra ratio, 70 millimeter versus 65 millimeter. I think that's the size of the film, but then again, we're in the age of digital. So I don't think that applies. Let me know down in the comment section below. I, I need some more info there. And when I bring this home, when I play it on my TV, the IMAX screens expand. When I watch Black Panther on the IMAX, the IMAX screens expanded in the theater. But when I have this at home, the IMAX scenes don't expand. And I was I was really kind of frustrated with that. It was something I was really looking forward to. Um, you know, when uh, T'Challa goes, when he pulls up, to, when he pulls up, when he pulls up to Wakanda in his uh, in his talent plane or whatever. And he gets off and the door Malaji walk him down and he goes up to see his mom, Angela Bassett, Ramona. I remember that scene being an IMAX in the theater and I, it didn't expand at home. So if anybody has any valuable information on that, I would really appreciate it. I just didn't take time to look up to see what happened or maybe I'm wrong. OK, so we oh something else that I want to bring up is the movie Truth or Dare. And the reason why I want to bring up Truth or Dare, you're like, Brandon, why do you want to bring up Truth or Dare? That movie sucked. I happen to like it. It's only it's in it's number twenty one in the box office, and it's uh, six week. It only brought in two hundred and fifty thousand. But the reason why I want to bring it up because it's Blumhouse, and they're known for making those movies for butt cheap. Production budget for this was three and a half million dollars, three point five million dollars, and worldwide it has made seventy six million dollars worldwide. So they're like, man, somebody gonna go see this thing. You know what I'm saying? So you know they make for cheap, and they always make a a hell of a profit. So. Uh, I just have to give uh, th them a kind of little shout out right there for uh, making money hand over fist. And if if I'm looking crazy right now while y'all are looking at, looking at me, it's because I lost my cursor again. I got to start over. Okay, there it is. All right, leaving that monitor. All right, closing this window out. We closing windows so I don't get confused. Okay, so what we got next? I want to talk about that next. So I talked about. So, yeah, Deadpool, all that good stuff. So, now, Avengers Infinity War, coming back to that. Now, um, it is in, what, what week is this? Uh, was this the third week or the fourth week? Oh, I forgot. Let me see something real quick. Weekend. This is the, yeah, fourth week. Okay. So, I just knew that Avengers Infinity War was going to make a ton more money. Not a ton of more money, but... Uh, a decent amount more than Avengers, uh, I mean, than Black Panther. If Black Panther made $700 million, I'm thinking, like, okay, Avengers Infinity War are going to make $850 million domestically, $800 million, you know, because I'm just thinking, like, okay, man, you know, we got Black Panther, such a phenomenon. People are going to go see it, especially the black people, three, four, five, seven times. Shout out to James. He said he saw it 10 times. Uh, and so we saw the trailer come out in November. So we're like, wait a minute. You know, a friend of the world come out three months after Black Panther. All these black people are going to go see Black Panther. You know, uh, Black Panther is such a prominent role in the film of Avengers and Infinity War. You know, everybody, all the black people that went to go see Black Panther going to go see Infinity War too. But Disney made a dumb mistake to me, in my opinion, because you remember, guys, they did not play the Infinity War trailer in, in the Black Panther movie. Like, I just thought that was a given. Like, duh. I mean, like, why would you not do that? You know, I, I just, I think this was a missed opportunity. And I, I'm I'm getting to my point. Also, I remember after uh, Avengers Age of Ultron in 2015, Ant-Man came out. And that one of the post credit scenes for Ant-Man, well, mid credit scenes was the actual scene from Civil War. To me, a missed opportunity with Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War was they should have played the Avengers Infinity War with the Black Panther movie. So all the black people could have been like, oh, snap, there's a lot of Wakanda and Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War that comes out three months. Let I, the, the movie is amazing. We just got to Oh, I can buy my tickets now. OK, let me do that now. You know what I'm saying? Another missed opportunity was I feel that, you know, now in hindsight, which is 2020. 
is I, I feel that they should have had like a Black Panther mid credit scene. You know, have the Black Panther mid credit scene. I mean, have the Avengers Infinity War. No, have the Black Panther mid credit scene uh, scene from Avengers Infinity War. And then, you know, at the end of Black Panther, they still could have had the Bucky. And then all the UN stuff, they could have just tacked that on at the end or whatever. And also, when you look at the deleted scenes for this right here, uh, there was one scene, of course, where they had Everett Ross, the guy from the CIA, just kind of be like, hey, it's a child. I really don't think you should let everybody know about your vibranium, blah, 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 blah. They should have kept that in the movie. They should have kept the one with uh, Wakabi uh, talking to a Koye, uh, the da Nagawara in there as well, too. But anyway, so... Um, Avengers Infinity War in this fourth weekend, like we just talked about, had a uh, $29 million, right? Black Panther in this fourth weekend was $40 million. So that's $10 million more or whatever. Uh, in this fourth weekend, Black Panther had a 38% drop. Infinity War had a 52% drop. Now, of course, that had to do with Deadpool. I still think Black Panther would have beat it. Maybe, uh, you know, Black uh, Infinity War would have came in at 35 million or something like that this weekend. But, you know, Disney cannot control what in, uh, what Fox wanted to do. Uh, I, I just think it's so stupid to have five of the biggest films released in a year to be released in the five. I mean, th I'm sorry, three of the biggest films to be released in a year to be released in a five week period, which is Infinity War, uh, Deadpool 2 and um, Star Wars Solo, which comes out next week which I'm going to talk about in a second. But, so right now, Black, I mean, I, actually, before I said, let's, that was the weekend showdown. And, you know, the showdown, I'm sorry, I'm doing the showdown right now, guys. Box Office Moto, opening weekend showdown. The biggest opening films of all time, which is Star Wars The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers 2012, Star Wars The Last Jedi, Black Panther, and Avengers Infinity War. And if you look at the day-to-day, -day, Black Panther is winning now. And it's been winning for a while. Um... You know, even going back to last Thursday, Friday it had 10 million, while Infinity War had 7 million. Saturday, Black Panther had 18 million, while Infinity War had 12 million. Sunday, uh, Black Panther had 12 million, while Infinity War had 9 million. So, um, Black Panther is beating it pace by pace. You know, um, Infinity War may not, I mean, Black Panther may end up making more than Infinity War domestically. Uh, we'll have to see, but, you know, I, I don't know. Probably not, but we're just going to have to see. Because then again, Infinity War is still ahead total domestically with $595 million. While at this time, Black Panther was at, um, I, don't, I don't like saying only, but I think y'all get my point, at $561 million. So next weekend, though, it's going to be like, I, I mean, I would say, okay, that's not, you know, the Deadpool 2 didn't hurt it that much, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not being received as well uh, as the first one, so it, Deadpool 2 did not make the 132 million and made the 125. It's probably going to have a 60% drop. I'm just going to call that right now. Uh, 55 to 60% drop, you know what I'm saying? So, what what is that? 125, uh, what is that divided by 2? I don't know. What's that? 66 is 120, so 62 million, something like that, I think, and I uh, lost the dang curse again, golly, uh, where, okay, there we go, all right, so, let's see, yeah, I think my, I think that's what, 20, I, you know, yeah, I think my math was somewhat correct, 25 million, uh, the bottom line, oh, that's the, that's, that's a 50% drop, Brandon, right uh, time. Okay. Hmm. So, 125. So, I think in Deadpool may have like a $55 million weekend next week. Let's see. And, like, you know, it may even be bigger than that. It may have a 70% drop or something like that. Who knows? Oh, real quick, going back to Black Panther, I saw some people are like, oh, Avengers Infinity War had a 70% 70 70 drop in China this past weekend. Blockity, blockity, blah. Well, that doesn't really matter because they had like the second biggest opening in China uh, ever. So if it opens big, it's going to have a big drop. You know, you got to think about that. If it opened mediocre or small, it had a big drop. That matters. That, that's a, an important caveat that I almost left out. Uh, actually, let me let me go back. Uh 
yeah the numbers data is more is more reliable uh, but I'm still not in love with the site and the design um, what am I looking at here Avengers oh yeah I'm trying to look at the international uh, because the numbers is faster so right now in China it is at 302 million dollars they had a 200 million dollar opening um, had a 70% drop, but of course you got through the week, $302 million. Some people was thinking that it was going to make $400 million there. It, mm, I don't know. It'll make at least $350. I'm confident on that. Um, but going back to Deadpool, uh, I actually forgot what I was talking about with Deadpool. I'm sorry about that. But, oh, so I would be like, yeah, um, you know, it's not a big deal. The word of mouth is going to, you know, affect the box office. And, you know, Avengers Infinity War don't got to worry about Deadpool. But no, they got to worry about Star Wars Solo um, next week, which is going to make money, too. I don't know if it's going to. I mean, it's going to make over $100 million opening weekend, I think. Uh, but, you know, Disney is competing with itself in Deadpool, too. So that's just problematic to me. I really just, you know, I, I've said this a thousand times. I really feel that uh, Black Panther, not Black Panther, but Deadpool 2 should have been released. Not Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool 2 could have been pushed to August. Star Wars kind of could have been pushed to August. You know, there's not much being released, you know, in that time frame. Um, you know, July. Okay, so July, you have July 20th, you have The Equalizer 2. And July 27th, you have Mission Impossible. And, uh, you know, after that, you have blind spotting. So you may not want to have August 1st. Why not the last weekend of August? Ain't nothing coming out in September. That's just, you know, I, I don't understand that. But anywho, so then, guys, um, so that's that. Uh, I don't know how much Black Panther, not Black, Avengers Infinity War will make. Hopefully, it will make at least $700 million to, you know, reach that milestone. You know, but we're just going to have to wait and see. And uh, right now... Let me see here. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Um, oh, there's no point of talking about that because I already talked about it. But last but not least, adjusting for inflation, um, Black Panther is still at number 30. Marvel's The Avengers at number 29. And The Avengers Infinity War is number 50. Of course, Avengers Infinity War is going to uh, you know, come up past that. That's adjusted for inflation. Uh, we already know domestic is number three right now at 697. The only thing that's beating Black Panther is Avatar and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Right now, Avengers Infinity War is number eight domestic uh, when you ignore um, inflation. And all time right now is uh, worldwide. Avengers Infinity War, $1.8 billion. It is number four. Black Panther right now is at number nine, right behind Avengers Age of Ultron, which is number eight. So, I'm really, really eager to see what these numbers are going to look like next week. Okay, is 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 um uh, is uh, Avengers: Infinity War going to reach the two billion dollar mark next week? We're just going to have to see. But guys, that is just my opinion for the box office results for Deadpool, Black Panther, and Avengers: Infinity War. What do you think? Did I leave anything out? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also go to my website, check me out there, and bookmark it. Also, look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff there in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction to all these box office numbers. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Kitavri. And that's just my opinion. Peace.